Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. The California Immigrant Youth Justice Alliance is a group of activists formed in the name of advocating for undocumented migrants. For them, the goal is to raise awareness during these important elections, even though none of their members can actually vote. But they're still involved in the process, staying politically active through their rallies and showing us how to influence the system using their greatest asset, their voice. Check this out. It's a story you will only see here on Latin Nation. Even before elections come around, we try to uh, tell the folks that, you know, we got to prepare ourselves uh, to fight immigration enforcement no matter who's president. We've been doing so with Obama. Uh, we're going to do so whether Hillary or Trump are elected. We're still going to, you know, organize against uh, anti-immigrant enforcement. Obama has to stop and can't stop the deportations. We are going on two million deportations. That's not humane. It's separating families every single day. The immigrant justice movement really grew under Obama more than anything. Undocumented workers broke our immigration laws, and I believe that they must be held accountable, especially those who may be dangerous. Obama has a stage, and when you have the stage, you control the messaging. So they give us the illusion of, like, we're moving forward, but they're taking 10 steps back. That's why, over the past six years, deportations of criminals are up 80 percent. And that's why we're going to keep focusing enforcement resources on actual threats to our security. We're undocumented and immigrant youth movement. A lot of our members are undocumented. A lot of our members are former undocumented. I came to the United States in 1995. I moved to Los Angeles from Mexico. When people say go back to Mexico, you know, they don't understand that, you know, there's a culture difference now. Most people grew up here and been here for years. So it makes it a lot tougher. And a lot of the same economic policies that, you know, the U.S. imposes on Mexico are still there. And people, you know, poverty still exists there. Uh, so yeah, it's like not an option to go back, you know? And people should be free to live wherever they want, you know? There, there shouldn't be, like, any policies of where you should decide to live. The anti-immigrant sentiment in this election is more visual. And, you know, it's more open because of Trump. But I think both candidates are anti-immigrant. It just depends how you're rating it, you know? Uh, we have Hillary who said to deport refugee children back to Honduras that was, you know, fleeing violence. And we have Trump who wants to build a wall. So the anti-immigrant sentiment has always been there. It's just, it's amplified. I always say California plays a really important role in leftist politics in the country. I think that we set the tone and we lead by example. Uh, a lot of people look at California like, hey, you guys, you guys are privileged. You guys live in this progressive state, quote unquote. But you know, they don't understand that we got here because we built to get here. We didn't just happen. I think uh, where California goes, I think we do impact a lot of the country. And that's why I like living here and I like doing the work here because I think we set the tone and example for everybody, you know? Within the city limits of Adelanto, we wake up, we go to sleep with people who are detained. And I say no more. You know, uh, we have been in front of ICE every time there's a raid or there's like some injustice, you know, people getting deported. And we were gonna be there when, you know, if Trump is building a wall or, if, you know, Clinton is, is, is deporting children, we're gonna be there no matter who's president. And we're gonna, you know, demand that these injustices don't continue. A, a safe community is an organized community. And that's why we have to keep doing that, you know? And like, I wish more people were on board and, and noticing, you know, that they have the power no matter who's president, to fight back and, you know, stand up against injustices. Thank you.